Hello guys, I have my cheat sheet today for today's subject because it has to do with uh, friendships and sometimes um, when we start to notice signs that they uh, that you've outgrown the friendship or the friendship has come to an end. And instead of, you know, just pretending and having a fake conversation every single time, we've got to come to a realization that the friendship has ended. And that's okay, because that means that we've, we've grown, we've changed, and, uh, and that is a part of our lives, that we grow and change. And if we grow apart, it's just... Um, meant to be or you know supposed to be and and that means we're on a whole are on our way to a whole new path one sign is if you feel drained after you spend time with them they're constantly complaining or you know there's always something to complain about or they start to compare you to other people and the friendships that that you know, the other friendships that they have. And, you know, we all, we all have a variety of people. You know, everybody has their own unique personality. And some low-maintenance friends, like me, can be incredibly misunderstood. I don't require constant attention. I don't require uh, constant, you know, hey, uh, you know, I'm calling you every single day because, because I want you to know that I love you because I, you know, I call you every single day. You know, it's, low maintenance friends can be incredibly misunderstood. You know, I, um, and it kind of sucks because I, you know, being a, being the kind of friend that I am, I am, I find myself to be incredibly loyal and honest. And if if any of my friends said, hey, Heidi, I need your help, I would be there in a heartbeat. Nobody really asks me for help because I'm so low maintenance and I don't really call and ask other people for help. So, um, or to hang out or to go do anything. I usually just go do things by myself, although it is kind of nice to have somebody to, you know, ride bikes with and, you know, every once in a while, which is fine. Or doing something that they like to do and I would try something new. It doesn't mean we don't, low maintenance friends, it doesn't mean that we don't like doing those things. But, you know, sometimes people will start being offended by low maintenance friends and, um, and then they start comparing you to other people they compare you know you know other relationships like oh this person you know pays attention to me when I want them to or this person says what I want them to say when I want them to or this person fulfills my needs the way that I want them to and that's I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but when we start setting expectations on people some of us will start feeling re resilient because the there really isn't, there, there, there's an expectation and then there's like a pressure with freedom. You know, there's, there's really no more freedom in that. It's, it's like a forced and, you know, you're expecting somebody to do something for you to show that they're a loyal and, you know, and that they're a loyal, honest friend. And that can be so misunderstood because you know, just because we're not, you know, always around and always doing what somebody wants you to do doesn't mean that we're not a loyal friend. That doesn't mean that when you call us and you need us, that we'll be right there for you. And um, th also, they don't help you grow. So you have a conversation with them. They're constantly complaining and comparing you. You know, that kind of puts you at a halt, you know, like, you know, and you question like, oh, is there something wrong with me? But really, no, there isn't. You just have a different form of friendship, a, for a different form of showing love and a different form of, of, um, of being there for people. <laughs> and uh, another thing that I noticed is, um, you know, how they'll start pointing out how other people make them feel loved because they do things that they do and how you don't make them feel loved because certain things that you do. And of course we want to become better people, but if this, if, if constantly feeding somebody else's expectation isn't a part of our personality, then that could be a friendship that we just, you know, that we grew out of that we have to let go. 
and um, you know, and and we want to start attracting more people like ourselves. So right now, I would like to attract some more people who are, you know, open-minded and 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 come up with ideas and don't complain a whole lot and, you know, live in the moment and and um, really just have our hobbies to keep us company and not rely on other people to keep us company or make us feel validated or important. You know, we we those are things that we find within ourselves, and I'm not saying that not having anybody around is the way to go. Of course not, you know, um, and, um, you know, we just want to be around people who have the same desires and, and, um, goals and visions as we do. So when, you know, and we all will come to these crossroads in our lives, like where, you know, there'll be, especially during this time, I mean, we all have our different opinions and the, and different ways of doing things and, and a lot of, uh, a lot of um, people in my life, and maybe even your life, has uh, have really revealed their true colors on who they are. And um, you know, and we start pointing out the things that you know, our expectations, things that we that we want in friendships. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have our own idea of what friendship looks like. But I'm speaking for low maintenance friends at this point because I have been so completely misunderstood with the way I express my friendship. And, you know, it's, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like, I mean, I, I can relate to being an introverted person where I would rather have my, you know, where I enjoy, and not rather, I would, in, I enjoy having my hobbies. I enjoy, um, you know, just finding things to entertain myself and, and make myself a better person. So when I am around other people, I have all of me to give to everyone else uh, and, and, you know, like a, a full, like a fullness of me, a fullness, satisfied, happy, unique, authentic person to, to offer other people when, you know, when we plan to hang out or, or, you know, be in each other's company. And I find that to be the most unique because, you know, these conversations aren't forced. They don't seem like, you know, you don't, there is no pressure and you like, you have to have this conversation with this person, um, or you have to be a certain person for them to accept you for who you are. Um, we just want to be accepted for who we are. And of course there are, if there are things that, that need to be changed, you know, like where we can, we can look at ourselves from the outside or somebody comes to us and says, Hey, you know, like there are certain things, you know, there are certain things in our friendship that, you know, that hurt me, or there are certain things in my friendship that, in our friendship that, you know, um, make me feel like we're losing our friendship. How can we fix this? You know, when we, when we can come to solutions to solving these problems, instead of complaining or comparing or pointing fingers or making somebody feel bad for who they are, you know, when, when, when those things start to happen, that's when we know that the friendship really is just, is no longer going to serve us or help us grow. And it can be a hard, sometimes it can be a harsh reality because we have friends that we've had for many, many years. And, and, you know, and, and what we can do is cherish those special memories you know, that they'll always be a part of our, uh, a part of us and a big part of our hearts. Uh, and, and, you know, just accepting the fact that sometimes we outgrow certain, oh, somebody called me, so I had to, <laughs> broke my, uh, concentration, but, um, but, yeah, so, I mean, if you have experienced this, excuse me, in your life, or have, you know, um, have come to a crossroads, especially during this time when everybody has their own opinions, everybody has their own beliefs, and, uh, times are tough, so we are, um, we are ultimately just super sensitive to our, to our surroundings, and, um, you know, with all these different changes that are coming in, you know, forcefully coming in, you know, like where we have to do certain things or, or we have to follow certain guidelines, you know, we are very, very selective on, on, um, you know, what else we allow and bring into our lives. So if you ever feel, if you ever, if you are experiencing this, or if you go, you know, if you, 
you know, know somebody who you're like, wow, I've been friends with them for a really long time, but, you know, things are changing and I feel differently, I'm growing differently, I, I'm going in a different path. It's, it's okay. It's, you know, we can find peace in that. We can find uh, new opportunities for, for new friendships to come into our lives more that, that are a part of our future. And um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And, we, you know, we don't need to argue or fight or, you know, say, oh, well, you know, you would be a better person if you did this. You know, we don't, we don't need to do any of that. We just can accept that we outgrow certain friendships. And that's okay. And, and you know, we're both on different paths. And that's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I love having conversations like this with you. Please let me know if you have any any subjects or anything, any topics that you'd like to talk about. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon. Bye.